I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about our episode's focus technical solution, which is Interbond 2340 UPC, Universal Pipe Coating from International. 2340 UPC is a next generation epoxy phenolic coating for high temperature applications and superior corrosion performance in accordance with the ISO 12944-9 standard. Interbond 2340 UPC delivers increased productivity and reduced rework cost compared to zinc silicate and other traditional epoxy phenolic based systems. To learn more about Interbond 2340 UPC, after this broadcast, please visit the episode description for an online link where you can access product and technical guides and more. And now back to our broadcast. Welcome to the International Innovations webcast. Today I'm joined by VJ Data, Technical Manager with International Paint. VJ has a master's in chemical engineering, has over 52 years in the global protective coatings industry. In addition, VJ holds two patents in the United States, has collaborated in over 60 technical papers in the protective coatings industry. On this episode of Innovations, VJ will be covering the topic of corrosion under insulation and focusing on tomorrow's technology for today's facilities. VJ, welcome to the Innovations Podcast. Thank you, Jim. VJ, let's talk about corrosion under insulation, or as it's called, CUI. The first question I have for you, why is it a balancing act when it comes to CUI? Good question, Jim. Jim, I've been formulating coatings for the last 40 years, and I can tell you that it's a very, very challenging to formulate coatings for corrosion under insulation. And why is that? You know, the, one of the reason is most of the people, when they formulate coatings for corrosion or insulation, they think only thing important is the high heat, you know. No, I think you really need to have a several properties considered. Number one would be like a high heat, of course. Then you need the anti-corrosive performance, both at high temperature and ambient temperature. You need to know the flexibility of the coating and also the ease of application. So exactly what we have to do here is make a little balancing act on all these four properties. Most of the people forget, you know, like uh, why we need ambient cure anti corrosive performance. And one of the reason is because most of the assets, they are painted in different countries, then they're brought back to the place where they're going to be assembled. And for that reason, you need a anti corrosive performance for ambient temperatures, ambient cure for a long period of time. So when it comes to the new normal, and what I mean by the new normal, in the oil and gas industry, CUI is such a huge issue for facilities, and it really kind of greatly impacts them both in operations and also when it comes to downtime, which is very costly if production is not happening. How big of a serious situation exists out there right now when it comes to CUI for these facility owners? Jim, very good question. And I tell you, it's a huge, huge problem in the industry. One of the reasons is a traditional epoxy phenolic coating, they're really the workhorse in uh, oil and gas, especially on the assets which are operating less than 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And they're very widely commonly used and they're very well recognized. Having said that, these coatings do have some drawbacks. Number one drawback is they do not cure at low temperature or temperatures below 50 degrees. So that really restricts your painting season. Number two, they're very sensitive to the film build, you know. Like you really have to hit on the target whatever is the specified film thickness. Otherwise, they will crack when you subject it to the heat. Now, since you're putting it at a very controlled film thickness, when these assets for a new construction are laying outside in the yard under the sun and other elements, they really have a lot of erosion and chalking. So what do those do? They really decrease in film thickness that means you're exposing the surface profile and they cause rusting. Number three is the moment you apply high DFT or a little bit over the specified DFT, which sometimes is uh, very easy to do it, and they will crack when they're subjected to the high heat. So these four or five elements are really, really critical 
and they do pose a big problem in the traditional proxy phenolic coding for CGI. And one of the things I'd like to expand a little bit on is related to durability with UV erosion resistance. So this is, again, I said, you know, for the new construction or other areas where you have these coatings exposed to the element under the sun and everything, so they will really start choking. And then as the rain or other moisture condensation comes in, they will start washing off and decrease in film thickness. So what we have done is, like in the new generation epoxy phenolic coatings, we have designed several lab tests for various conditions. Number one is the erosion, for example, you know. So what we do is we'll take, apply the coating, cure it for seven days, and then we expose it for two and a half hours each day to the UV light. After that, we run it for six days, and then we wash the panels for half an hour. And after six days, we take the same panels, and then we expose it to the UV condensation. So that consists about seven days and makes it one cycle. So what we do is we run about 35 cycles and we try to see how the erosion occurs on the coatings. As you can see in one of the picture here, we have done some lab tests and they really correlate very well for the field exposure test, where you can see some of the coatings have really uh, eroded away. If you see the picture on the right hand side, Actually, pipe, the top coat has really eroded away when the coating is exposed to the sun and the elements. And on the left-hand side, you see there are two panels. The extreme left panel is a traditional uh, new generation epoxy coating. And on the right-hand side is the traditional epoxy coating. And this coating, as you can see, has really eroded away. And then with a traditional epoxy phenolic coatings, uh, you had mentioned earlier about not only when it's in a yard, uh, the potential for UV damage, but also for handling and shipping. You know, how prone are the traditional epoxy phenolics when it comes to uh, transportation and handling for damage? That's a very good question here. These coatings, when there's this traditional epoxy coatings are applied, they become very brittle over age, you know, and they can easily get damaged. And for, the, for that reason, we really need to make sure that the coating has a good amount of flexibility into the coating, even if it's when laying in the yard. So what we did here in this one is that we took uh, off the shelf about four epoxy phenolic coating, which are available on the marketplace. And then we compared it to our new gen epoxy phenolic coatings, which is, you can see here that the film loss actually after 35 cycle in the traditional epoxy coating is close to about three to four mils, whereas the new gen epoxy coating has lost only about 1.5 mils when exposed to these accelerated tests, you know, which shows you that the new gen epoxy coating has fantastic you know, resistance to the chalking or much better than the traditional epoxy coatings. You know. Let's talk about a traditional versus the next generation if you would like to kind of cover so, what the traditional and then cover the new, the new um, technologies new next generation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So look at this one. This picture shows you on the left hand side, there is a uh, network of the traditional epoxy phenolic coating. It's pretty rigid, you know, this network, as you can see. But on the right hand side is the new gen epoxy coating. As you can see, we use a very specialized curing agent plus other formulating technique to give you here a little flexibility into the system. As you can see, it had been illustrated with a little springy action. That's what shows you the flexibility of the catalyst we use in this coating. So when these coatings are subjected to the high heat, which further cures the coating, and in the traditional epoxy coating, it'll call brittleness, and the coating will crack, whereas on the new gen epoxy phenolic coating, Due to the springy action, due to the flexibility introduced, these coatings stay very flexible, and even at high DFT, they do not crack. The other new feature for the new gen epoxy coating here is they have a capability of curing at low temperature, all the way down to 25 degree F. Jim, that is a tremendous 
tremendous innovation in this area because this opens up a pretty good painting season, improves your productivity. You can apply two coats in a very short period of time and it really saves a lot of time to the applicator and to the owners. Very good. And then uh, would you like to go ahead and cover regarding the film build sensitivity? Yes, Jim. That's another area which is a nightmare for the, usually for the applicators. And they really, when they have to apply a coating which is very dry film thickness sensitive, you know, I asked several contractors, so how do you apply these coating? He said, with great difficulties, you know. So what you see here in this picture is on the left hand side, we have a, like a green color plates here in the middle is the yellow and on the right hand side is the little kind of red or pinkish colors you know so what we did we took the traditional epoxy phenolic coating and we applied it at several different film thickness these coatings were dry cured seven days in room temperature then what we do is we usually heat these panels for eight hours at a target temperature. It would be like a 250 degree F, 300, and then all the way up to 400 degrees, you know. And then we cool it for 16 hours, that makes it one cycle. And then we run these panels for several cycles to see if there is any cracking at any different DFTs. As you can see in this picture here, on the left hand side is a traditional epoxy phenolic coating when they're applied up to about 12 mils, two coats. And you can see when they're subjected to a, about 250 degree, there's no cracking, it's all green. But as the temperature increases to 300 degree or 350 to 400 degrees, you can see there is a yellow and there is a little bit of the pink stuff, which means there's a lot of cracking into the coating here. And then we did the same thing into our new gen epoxy coatings. As you can see here, this coating has been applied at a much, much higher DFT, close to like a 40 mils. And irrespective of the temperature, whether it's a 250 degrees, which is close to 120 degrees Celsius, or up to like 300 degrees Celsius, 300 degree Fahrenheit, there is absolutely no cracking. It's all green all the way. It's not that we recommend a very high DFT, but this gives a lot of flexibility to the contractor or the applicators when applying this coating. That, like I said, dream coating for them, you know, very easy to apply. And, and that's uh, critically important, especially uh, when you're looking at projects uh, that are gonna be done. Uh, this particular product can give you uh, a wide range of opportunity in, the, in working uh, with uh, pipe and, and other uh, application, but also too um, easy for the contractor to use. And then to your point, if it does build a little uh, thicker, uh, that's uh, usually not any type of a problem or concern. Absolutely, Jim. You know, like I said, it's, it becomes a very, very easy coating to apply. This coating, which can be really uh, applied at, um, at uh, very high DFTs, uh, not that we recommend it, but if they, by mistake, certain areas, you know, they will apply higher DFT. They don't have to rework it. They don't have to remove it. So it saves a lot of time and money to the contractors and the applicators. Coating okay. cured at low temperature, which gives you a very good uh, productivity and the painting season. You know. So uh, if you could go into some uh, detail regarding uh, this uh, new generation epoxy phenolic when it comes to erosion and UV resistance, uh, a lot of testing had been done with that. And how did it perform? So, Jim, right here, if you can see, when we take this coating, we designed the lab test and we correlated with the actual performance in the field, you know. And we have seen many traditional epoxy coating which has really eroded away when they applied at a very, very controlled film thickness, you know. At the same time, we have taken our new gen epoxy phenolic coating and applied it under similar condition. And absolutely, there's no erosion. There's no uh, chalking of the film under similar conditions, you know. Of course, these are all epoxy coating. Eventually, they will chalk. But at the same time, they are a lot less prone to chalking as compared to the traditional epoxy phenolic coatings. Very good. Uh, and then uh, some of the advantages, if you'd like to go in a little bit of detail regarding some of the advantages of this new generation epoxy technology. Yes, Jim, as you can see here, if I really like to uh, 
point out, you know, like the, the key, key advantages of the coding. Traditional uh, uh, specification is for two codes at four to six mils each code, you know. And this coding can be applied even high from DFT if required. There's no problem in cracking or drying time. This coating has an excellent low temperature cure. So especially at room temperature, it dries pretty fast. So you can apply the two coats relatively in a short period of time. This coating also is capable of applying both over carbon steel and stainless steel because it has a very low levels of hydrolyzable chloride. So it's suitable over stainless steel also. This coating also has been tested for both cryogenic up to 4 and 50 degree F. So it gives you wide latitude of the temperature range and makes it a very suitable coating for the majority of the application and assets which are operating below 4 and 50 degree F. Uh, yes, another more question, more feature here is that this is very easy to um, field repair, if there is any problem in the field for damage due to mechanical reasons, this coating can be easily cleaned up to SP11 and then apply the two coats of the epoxy coating, rebuild, film build, very easy to apply coating, brush and roll or spray. Vijay, in, in closing, is there anything regarding this next generation technology that we didn't talk about that you would want to leave with the viewers? Jim, like I said before, you know, compared to the traditional epoxy coating, this new gen epoxy coating has been um, formulated with all the drawbacks of the traditional epoxy coating in mind. So it has a low temperature cure. It has a better erosion resistance. It has a better overfilm capabilities. And then it gives you excellent flexibility at high heat. So which makes it a very ideal coating for any applicator or owners. Very good. And the information that VJ just covered, it will be in this episode's uh, information and description. You can find additional information on international-pc.com. And VJ, thank you so much for this opportunity to talk about this uh, next generation technology and its advantages, and also to the opportunities that it does present for owners and for contractors. Thank you, Jim. It's my pleasure to explain the new technology here, which is a unique technology, and I really appreciate everybody listening to it and um, me presenting it. Thank you, Jim. Great. And everyone, please look forward to the next episode of the International Innovations Podcast. I'm Jim Kunkel, your host. Thank you for watching this episode, and have a great day.